So this just might be the most notorious man in crypto right now. First up, the hunt is on for Do Kwon, the main developer of failed cryptocurrencies Luna and Terra USD. Interpol is after the South Korean crypto founder Do Kwon. Here's what's happening. So if you haven't heard of Do Kwon, this is the key fact to remember. He may have cost the world somewhere in the region of between 40 and 60 billion dollars. His company Terraform Labs had created Luna, that was the native token for the Terra blockchain. Its sister stablecoin was Terra USD or UST, which was algorithmically backed by Luna. Both crashed in May this year, wiping out huge value in the crypto space. Do Kwon's precise role in this crash isn't completely clear. But prosecutors in his native South Korea want him arrested. Interpol, the international criminal police organization, has issued a red notice against Kwon that asks law enforcement agencies across the world to locate and provisionally arrest him, escalating what is now a global manhunt. For South Korea, making Do Kwon pay for his alleged crimes is easier said than done. An arrest warrant for the Terraform founder was issued on September 14th, the charge violating the country's Capital Markets Act. Now the search for Kwon has become an international one as scrutiny continues to grow over exactly what happened with Terra Luna. It had been thought that Kwon was in Singapore. Singapore police have denied that. His passport has been cancelled. Prosecutors claiming he is, quote, obviously on the run and not cooperating with the investigation. Kwon has denied trying to evade authorities, however, saying on Twitter, quote, I am not on the run or anything similar for any government agency that has shown interest to communicate. We are in full cooperation and we don't have anything to hide. Terraform Labs has hit out at South Korean prosecutors, accusing them of unfairness and violating Kwon's rights. In a statement to the Wall Street Journal, the crypto company said the case had become, quote, highly politicized. Forecast Danny Park has been following the story. We have to think about the timeline of when Terra Luna collapse happened. It happened as South Korea was preparing its regulatory framework around crypto. And it also happened a few weeks after South Korea met its new president, Yoon Suk Yeol, who is all for making a safe environment for crypto investors. And we can't forget that 280,000 people in South Korea suffered from the collapse. So although Terra and Do Kwon never mentioned or never fully explained how the whole situation has become political, how Do Kwon is penalized and how the administration will clean up the aftermath of Terra Luna will affect the public support on the Yoon administration. Kwon has further been accused of cashing out some $67 million in Bitcoin recently. He's said to have used the crypto exchanges OKX and KuCoin. Kwon again denies these allegations. Here's his Twitter account saying he hasn't used either of the named exchanges. Another key element of the arrest warrant is that Terraform's Luna cryptocurrency, now Luna Classic, is now deemed a security. The company denies that assertion. The move go could have implications for regulation being made elsewhere. When this leads to the court making the final decision that Luna is, a, is indeed a security, it will send a big shock throughout the South Korean crypto market and industry, um, many experts told me. Because when, ex uh, when Luna is a security, experts say that every other cryptocurrency that is not completely decentralized or has a liquidity pool that's affected by an issuer or developer, they are securities as well. So this means the developers of those securities could be accused of the same charges as Do Kwon. And it doesn't end here. It also affects the exchanges that listed those cryptocurrencies and the DeFi and many other services, crypto services, that made, of, made use of these tokens. Kwon is not the only person accused of breaking the law. At least five of his associates from Terraform Labs are also accused of doing the same. Co-founder Daniel Shin is about to testify to South Korea's government. In the wake of the fallout, authorities have been accelerating efforts on crypto regulation. It actually sped up the whole legislation progress. Um, in South Korea, they're preparing this new 
new um, regulation on crypto called the Digital Asset Basic Act, which is supposed to hold um, more responsibility to token issuers. And following following that would um, protect the investors much better. So since Terra Luna happened, the lawmakers and the financial authorities, they called for a faster regu- faster legislation of that regulation. And the regulation is set to take place um, early next year, which is um, quite, uh, quite sooner than expected. That is it for this episode. Like and subscribe to this video for more content like it and let us know your thoughts on what's happening in the comments below.